Using the Microsoft Scheduling Poll feature makes setting up meetings quick and efficient, reducing the back and forth typically involved in finding a suitable time for everyone. To use the Microsoft Scheduling Poll, open a blank email in Outlook. First, decide who you want to send the poll to. For this example, I'll send it to my colleague and an external contact. Then, set up your poll. Now, in the upper right corner or in the Insert tab, click the Scheduling Poll feature. On the right, you'll see a new window with the Scheduling Poll. Note that my organization doesn't have access to the external person's calendar, so I'm coordinating internally first and then with XYZ. The poll syncs with your Outlook calendar and your set working hours. For example, my colleague and I don't work on Saturdays, so we're not available then. Ensure your work hours are set in Outlook before using the scheduling poll. Let's say we need a 30-minute meeting. You can choose any interval that suits your needs. I'll select a few time slots for the external person to choose from. Once done, click Next. You can enter a location if it's an in-person meeting, but it defaults to Microsoft Teams, which works for us. You can also manage poll settings, such as scheduling when attendees reach consensus, holding selected times on your calendar, and requiring attendees to verify their identity. Once the poll is set, it inserts into the email. Write a note to XYZ, asking them to click on the poll and vote. Send the email. On the recipient's end, this is what XYZ will see. They can mark their preferred times and vote. It's important for all attendees, including the sender, to vote on preferred times. Once everyone votes, the meeting is automatically scheduled at the first available time. This saves a lot of back and forth and ensures a quick and efficient way to book meetings.